in this video on bringing your Chromebook back to life after we've taken out the Right Protect screw. What we need to do now is put the Chromebook into what's known as developer mode. And developer mode is pretty much the same across all Chromebooks. So the first thing we're going to do is power it up. And when it comes up, it comes up into normal mode, but we have to change a few things. Now, normally this Chromebook has been already uh, been wiped, if you want to think of it that way, or power washed as Chrome likes to call it. Uh, but I always like to take it kind of a step further just to make sure because some of these have been donated Chromebooks Do you want to activate from schools. Chromebox, yeah, that's annoying. Screen reader for Chrome OS. If so, press the space bar. In this case, though, I want to make sure that it also is off the domain of the school that donated this. Uh, sometimes schools don't always take it off the domain, so that can be kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, it makes this, the Chromebook pretty much unusable because you cannot put it in developer mode until it's been what is known as deprovisioned off of the school domain. So here we go. I'm going to click on Let's Go. I'm going to choose my guest Wi-Fi. And we've got to get the right password. And once the Wi-Fi is enabled, I go through and accept any other settings and let it basically get to the point of where it needs to log in. Now, the reason I'm doing this, even though this has been power washed, it just sometimes they don't always release from the domain, even when they are deprovisioned at the school site. So one of the things I do is let it go and find any updates. And in the process of finding updates, most of the time it will go, oh, this one does not belong to the domain anymore. Now, one of the ways you can tell that it doesn't belong to the domain is because on the username up here, you'll have a location uh, that's preset if it's already on the domain, like at school.k12.ca.us, that sort of thing. Um, so it'll already be, have a domain there indicating you can't do anything else with it other than put it with an account on that particular domain. Now, a lot of technical stuff there, basically, but all I want to do is see that it has a clear email address to be able to populate and log in. Now, I'm not actually going to log in. What I'm going to do is, is go into developer mode, and the first step to going into developer mode is to hold down three keys at once. You hold down Escape, the uh, little refresh button on the Chromebook, and the power. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And it's going to come back up and it's going to start developer mode. Now, when it starts developer mode, um, it basically just gives me a message saying that, hey, developer mode is going to be enabled. Or if it's still on the domain. Now, there's a couple of other things. Once I have done that three fingered um, button mechanism there, I'm going to also uh, make sure that I hold down control hit D when it says Chrome OS is missing or damaged. It's going to ask me to turn verification off and press enter. I do that. And now one more time, it's going to come up and I'm going to use control D to put it in developer mode. That's kind of the final step for developer mode. So it says OS verification is off. It says press space to re-enable. I'm not going to do either one of those. Uh, this is kind of a little, I would say secret, but it's a process that's used mostly by uh, people who know how to handle Chromebooks, but I'm going to hold down control and hit D at this point, and that's what's going to take it into developer mode. And it's saying your system is transitioning to developer mode. This literally takes eh, anywhere from 10 minutes or more. So you just kind of let it go until it happens. And what's going to happen is it's going to reboot and it's going to show, and it's going to give you a message indicating debugging is now available, and that means it's in developer mode. So I'm going to pause this until it actually finishes. No point in watching 
let paint dry here for 10 minutes. All right, it's finished the developer mode and it is saying OS verification is off. Press space to enable. I can either do control D at this point or I can just give it a few seconds and it's going to go ahead and reboot. So that's what I'm going to do is just give it a few seconds. It reminds me, hey, pay attention to me with the little chirps. Uh, I'm going to ignore those. And again, it's going to take it another few seconds and now it's rebooting. And this time it reboots and it looks very similar to what a, a normal boot looks like, but it has debugging is enabled and that's an indication that you have developer mode turned on. So right here it says enable debugging features. That's an indication that the uh, developer mode is turned on. And that ends this particular video. I don't want to make the videos too long. Do you want to activate Chromebox, the built-in screen reader for Chrome OS? If so, so press stay the tuned space for bar. the next video, uh, which is going to go through the process now of setting up a script that you're going to run from what is called Mr. Chromebox. So please watch the next video in the series, and we'll take off from here.